Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. In Filament we're used to see charts and widgets on the dashboard usually, right? But today I want to show you an example how these visuals can be used on the view page of specific resource related to a specific record. This is one of those things that it is in the docs but it's not emphasized enough and it doesn't have any visual representation so people may kind of skip or misunderstand it. So there is documentation about widgets so you can generally create a resource widget and add it on the resource page but then down below there's a tiny paragraph accessing the current record in the widget in the edit or view page. So let me show you an example. This is a view page, a show page of a resource called link. So there's a table of links and then there are clicks related to that link. In the database I have database table clicks with link ID for example. Fake generated a lot of clicks with different timestamps with 1000 clicks and then if I go to a view page I see this. So how does it work in the code? This is actually a video version of a free tutorial on our filamentexamples.com. You can find it in the tutorials section. It is free. I will link that in the description below. But I will show you that here as well in my PHP Storm. So we have widget for clicks overview, which is a stat widget. So you have get stats for last hour, last days and stuff like that. So that's one widget inside of the resource. It's actually in app filament resources, link resource widgets subfolder. And then another widget is a chart. This extends chart widget with things related to chart like get data, like trend, everything you would expect for a chart widget from dashboard in filament. But both widgets are in the view page. This is the page view link with get header widgets function listing both of those widgets on top. And then the main thing about those widgets in both of them we would have model record null with question mark because that record may not exist and then we use that this record in the internal functions like get stats for this record in this case with raw query and then in the chart we have same thing model record with question mark trend query where link id is this record id so in this way you may build various widgets like charts trends or others in the view page of specific resource record. That's it. That's all I wanted to show you for this video and see you guys in other videos.